burns can be seen as injury to the human body uh, caused by heat, uh, electricity, uh, chemicals, radiation, or friction. So all this depends on uh, what the person is exposed to, and it can affect anyone from children to the adults. The, type, the causes will depend on the type of burns, like you could think of chemical burns, uh, for example, as caused by caustic substances. Most of the time, like the alkali um, or the acids we use, uh, the other type of burns would be your thermal burns. So this can actually be due to the open flames. Um, so there's another type of burn called inhalational burns. So if someone is caught in a fire, like the house is burning, so most of the people will inhale either smoke, uh, hot air, and you know the whole airway would be compromised. And what we see here most commonly is uh, the thermal burn, the scalding burns. Um, rarely would you see children would uh, having electrical burns, but it's possible. We have seen a couple of them. The first action you should take usually is to rush to the near, nearby facility um, because most of the, what we do at home will only serve as uh, prolonging the time between uh, the time of injury and the time that you should take action. In hospital, um, the main thing or immediately, usually we try and assess the severity of the burns and also um, the, ex I mean, the extent of burns and which parts of the body are affected. Um, because that will determine whether you need to go to theater immediately uh, or you need to be transferred to the intensive care unit or uh, high dependency unit or even you may need uh, to be intubated and uh, to be helped by machines to breathe. The criteria to say you are admitting someone to the intensive care unit, generally, they are, we use the 10% uh, cutoff for for the uh, for the pediatric uh, population, the kids. Uh, for the adults, you go from 15% um, going up. So the other criteria in the hospital which you use to determine that this is a patient who needs to go to the intensive care unit. So that will depend also on the uh, the total body surface surface area bands and also the depth uh, of the bands. So as the heal, uh, much will come to your medical management. This involves your, uh, ensuring that they have adequate fluid you know, intake, whether through the mouth or through their uh, veins. The second aspect is pain control. You know. uh, thirdly, it's about their nutrition. You should ensure that they have adequate caloric intake. For the surgical management part, uh, if it was full thickness, they need to have, like, to excise the part which is dead and allow normal tissue to grow. Sometimes you have to take a part of skin elsewhere and uh, put where the burns are. So the first thing would be trying to improve those living conditions and um, at least have a responsible adult for uh, present uh, during cooking. So because almost more than 70% occurs when there are older children who are present uh, at their time but they are, they are not keen enough to ensure that the other smaller kids uh, are safe.